Hi everyone and welcome back to Catherine's Plates. I've got my crock pot out today and I have two very special recipes. These come from my friends in Canada. Now they have a YouTube channel, Life of a Mill Wife. They're Kelly and Kevin. They've got a lot of cool stuff on their channel. Specifically, they have a Cooking with Kevin segment that they do every Thursday. And they do some of my videos on there, which is awesome. Thank y'all so much. I'm glad y'all are enjoying the recipes. So I asked for some back in return. I have these two today. They sound delicious. We have a cheesy bacon scalloped potatoes and then we have a three sauce over whatever type of meat you like so chicken pork chops their favorite is meatballs which is what we are going to do all right guys enough talking let's go ahead and get started because i know y'all are anxious to try these recipes out this one is called Bacon Cheesy Scallop Potatoes. Now I do have some scallop potato recipes out there, but this one is different and I love the ingredients in it. So we're gonna give this one a shot. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go ahead and start prepping my potatoes. The recipe calls for russet potatoes, which I'm gonna be using. Russet potatoes make a really good scallop potato. So we're gonna go with that. Now I'm just gonna peel the potatoes, I'm gonna slice them, and then I'm going to put them into some water, clean them up a little bit, and then we're gonna come back. Since these are gonna cook in the crock pot low and slow all day, I'm not worried about how thick these are. You do want them thin, but you're gonna be able to manage them by checking on them throughout the day. Now I'm using three large potatoes. If you wanna add another potato, you can do that. I'm just gonna rinse these off. I'm gonna be adding an onion. Now what's great about this dish is if you don't wanna put onion in there, it's not needed. But you know, I put onions in almost everything <laughs> and it's in their recipe. Because it's gonna be cooking low and slow in the crock pot, I'm just gonna cut it in half. And then I'm just gonna make slices. Bring in the crock pot over and we're gonna place all of our wet ingredients inside and give that a nice mix. The first thing we're gonna put in is one can of cream of soup. You can use cream of celery, cream of chicken, or you can use cream of bacon, which is what was in their recipe, but I didn't find cream of bacon soup. So I'm gonna use the cream of celery, and then we're gonna put a different type of bacon inside here. So this is a 10 ounce size. Cream of celery reminds me of Thanksgiving. It just smells like Thanksgiving. I've taken some milk, poured it into my can, and I'm just gonna kind of stir it around to get all that excess cream of soup out. And just use your can as the measure. We're gonna get that in. Cheese Whiz. <laughs> that is the cheese that we're gonna put in here. It's 15 ounces. I'm just gonna use the same spoon. And we're gonna put it all in there. We're going to season with some cracked black pepper. Or you can put a quarter teaspoon of regular black pepper in. I'm going to sprinkle in some garlic powder, about a quarter of a teaspoon. Before I add any salt, because of this cheese whiz and the can of soup, I'm going to whisk this all together and give it a taste because this is going to be your flavor right here give that a taste Ooh, that's really good okay i'm not going to add any salt to that that's fine but we've got some bacon pieces i'm going to add in because i didn't use the cream of bacon soup and i want that bacon flavor i'm going to just take some bacon real bacon pieces and add it Boop. 
don't want that. That looks good right there. That will give it some more saltiness, so don't even worry about any salt for this dish. I'm gonna add my onions in. Give this a mix. And then let's start incorporating the potatoes that I've rinsed off. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna mix this all together until all of the potatoes are well coated. We're gonna place the lid on. We're gonna cook this on low, and she said cook it all day long, low and slow. So that's what we're gonna do. I'll come back, I'm gonna let you know how long it took to get these potatoes nice and tender. Give them a try for you. These look delicious. So what I'm gonna do, we're not done yet. I'm going to sprinkle some cheese on top, let it melt right on top of there. This is about four ounces. I'm going to sprinkle some parsley on top. I'm just going to place the lid back on until that cheese melts. I'm going to scoop it up, then I'm going to give it a try for you. Yes, add that extra cheese, you guys. Mm, look at that. These are cooked all the way through. This took five hours on high. I cooked them on high because, you know, I was ready to eat these. <laughs> now, these potatoes were cut between an eighth to a quarter inch thick, as you can see. Five hours on high, probably seven, maybe eight hours on low. Just keep an eye on them. Put your fork in and see how tender they are. I'm gonna try a bite for you. Mmm, that's delicious. I love that bacon flavor in there. Now, if you don't want to put the bacon pieces in there, you can cook this whole thing and then just stir in the bacon pieces at the end. You can even put ham in here. Let me know down in the comments what you think of the bacon, creamy, cheesy, scalloped potatoes in the crock pot. This one is a three sauce recipe that you can put over your favorite meat and then let it low and slow cook. You can do chicken, pork chops. Their favorite is frozen meatballs. You put it into the crock pot with all those three only three ingredients on top of those. Let them go. Yeah, sounds delicious. I'm going to serve it over rice. You ready? Let's go ahead and get started with this one. I'm going to call this one good for the holidays because you can use a bag of meatballs frozen. This is 20 ounces and then it's just a few other ingredients and you can put this all together and you know what? Serve it as appetizers. Pour this over like mashed potatoes or rice or you know even like the bag suggest here put it in a sub <laughs> all right let's go ahead and get started now they've said oh those meatballs smell good when i opened them <laughs> oh my gosh they smell really good i'm going to empty the whole bag into the crock pot now we like these armor beef meatballs because the first ingredient on the ingredient list is meatballs so I mean is beef we've seen several different types of frozen meatballs that have other different types of ingredients listed at the front and we're like nope that's fine so that's why we picked these right here armor not sponsored <laughs> can y'all see that? I'm sorry. I already opened the can. This is whole berry cranberry sauce, and I'm just going to scoop it out and put it all over the meatballs. All right, can you see all those cranberries in there? Yeah, that looks good. 
Now, if you don't like the whole cranberries, you can get the cranberry sauce and use that. There we go. The next ingredient is one envelope of onion soup mix. Now, it comes in a pack or a box like this, and it's got two packages in there, and they'll look like this here. I like to mix it all up. All right, Kelly and Kevin, I hope I do your recipes justice today, like y'all do mine. I'm just going to sprinkle it across the cranberries. And then they say to add some Catalina dressing. I'm going to add one cup. Just gonna take a spatula, stir this all together. Okay, they say cover it with a lid and cook it all day on low. And I'm gonna assume that's around six to eight hours until your meatballs are nice and cooked through and tender. I'll be back with the finished product. Okay, these are done. They're very tender, look at this. I've already tried one. <laughs> They're so delicious. I'm going to be serving this over some rice. Now I make my chicken flavor rice, which I just cook with some better than bouillon roasted chicken flavor. So let me serve this over that and I'll give it a try. Okay, my rice is all done nice and fluffy. I'm going to go ahead and ladle the meatballs on top. I'm going to sprinkle some parsley on it. Look at that. That looks delicious. Okay, I'm going to give it a try for you. All right, Kevin and Kelly. My family walked in the door. <laughs> they were like, what is that smell? And I, I showed them this, and they, they want this pole right here. But they have to make their own. So... <laughs> All right, let me just take a stab at this meatball here. They're so tender. Take a bite with the rice. You know, this is make perfect appetizers for the holidays. You can even make a whole crock pot of these for football season, which we're in right now. All right, there's my bite. Mmm, they're really good. Those three ingredients really merged together for a delicious sauce. Now remember you can use this for chicken, pork chops, a roast. Oh, it'd be really delicious. Plus these frozen meatballs that I put in there. All right, this one's an A plus. Okay guys, which was your favorite? The meatballs with that three ingredient sauce or was it the scalloped potatoes? with the bacon and the creamy cheese sauce that we made for it. They're both delicious. I want to thank Kelly and Kevin for providing these recipes. Make sure you go check out their channel, Life of a Mill Wife, and let them know that I sent you and which recipe that I made that you enjoyed. Okay guys, thumbs up. Make sure you comment down below if you're new to the channel. Hit that subscribe button down below with that bell notification. That way you'll always know when my shows are posted. I will see you on the next episode.